Hello and welcome to Leica On Demand. Today on What's In The Box, we're gonna look at the Disto S910. Now we have Cameron here, who's one of the product specialists for the Disto, who's gonna go through a few of the most commonly asked questions on the S910. Hi, I'm Cameron Roy. I'm the key account manager for the Disto channel for the UK. And I'm here to answer some of the questions you have about the Disto S910. Question number one, what is P2P? Well, Jamie, point-to-point -point technology allows you to measure between two points in any plane. So effectively, you could take a measurement between a point on that wall and a point on that wall over there, but from your position. So you don't have to directly be between the two points to take them as you would in a traditional laser distance measure. Question two. How do I do a survey using the S910? It's actually relatively simple to do on the S910, as long as you remember to take a few steps, and we'll look at those on the device now. So this is the basic screen you get presented with when you turn the device on. In order to get to your P2P functionality, press the function button here, and it brings up a brand new menu. Along the bottom, you can see all of the P2P functionality that you require. Now, to do a survey, you need to hit the middle button here and first will happen is you get a red surround that lets you know you've selected it and then hit it again and it's going to ask you now to level the device. This takes three stages where you have to level it horizontally and then you have to turn the device through 90 degrees not once but twice. So. So the first part's correct, and again, you have to do the second turn. Your S910 is now ready to go because of the green symbol there. So now that the device is level and ready to go, we need to start our survey. I would always turn the camera on so that you can see exactly what you're looking at by pressing that button. You can see the screen now changes and the viewfinder is activated and follows my command as I turn the device through the axes. So in order to take a measurement, I can zoom in by using the up and zoom out by using the down button to make sure that I'm looking at exactly where I want to be. So in this instance, I'm going to try and aim for the crosshair on the target in front of myself. Your S910 comes with a FTA 360 bracket which allows you to make fine adjustments so that you can find exactly where you need to measure to. Taking the measurement is done by pushing the button in the middle, it turns on the crosshair and pushing it once more takes the measurement. You'll see that point one has been stored because there's a tick with a P and a one. I can then move on to other points that I wish to do by hitting the middle button again and choosing my point that I wish to measure to, in this case, just a random point on the ceiling. That is point two taken. Then point three is done in the same way until you get to the end of your survey. So in this case, it's just going to be the end of this desk here. Once I'm done with my survey, I then need to hit the save button. And that is here on the right, it's a little floppy disk. I hit that and it tells me it has been saved. There are a couple of things you need to remember when using the S910. It has an internal memory which will hold 30 20 point surveys. So each survey can be a maximum of 20 points before you have to save it and move on to the next one. Also, when you do a survey, make sure it's done in the correct order so you don't end up with scribbles all over your drawing. Number three, I'm done, what now? So it's very simple now. You're gonna export the survey that you've done by hitting the function button again and choosing the file icon, tapping that twice and choosing the survey that you've done. You plug the cord in using the USB into your computer and simply take it off like you would on a USB stick. 
So that was a brief look at the S910. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see any more on what it can do, any more of the features and benefits, please let us know and we'll do further videos on this subject.